Hello friends, I am Rajinish Chandran. Welcome back to the tutorial sessions in rotating line method of engineering graphics. So in this video, we are going to solve another type of problem in rotating line method. The problem you can see in your screen right now. The top view of a 75 mm long line AB measures 65 mm whereas its front view measures 50 mm. Its 1 and A is in the HP and 12 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections and find the true inclinations of the line with respect to both the reference plates. So the problem is the top view of a 75 mm long line measures 65 mm. The top view of a 75 mm line measures 65 mm. So what is the 75? That will be the true length of the line. So AB is equal to 75. Then the top view of a 75 mm long line measures 65 which means the top view AB will be equal to 65 and the length of its front view is 50 mm. So A dash B dash will be 50. This is the data given in the first sentence. Then the point A is on HP and 12 mm in front of it. So this is the data given. So how can we start? We can start with the point A, right? So the point A is on HP. So this will be A dash and 12 mm in front of VP. So this will be A. So this has been this. Now, true length is given. Can we utilize true length? The true length can be utilized only if the other end point is given. So that with the help of the other end point, we can draw the locus line and on that locus line, we can intersect the true length. Or the true length can be used when the true inclination is also given. So if theta or phi was given, then the true length can be clubbed with that in, uh, true inclinations and we can use it together. So here only the true length is given, no locus line is given, no theta or phi is given. Which means true length cannot be used right now. Now AB is equal to 65. C A is given and if the locus line of B was given then we can intersect it for that we can obtain A B or A dash B dash or we have to obtain the e. or if there was a distance between the projector through A dash A and B we can draw the projector through B so that we can connect A dash B dash and A B but that also is not given. So how can we solve this problem? See we know that in the rotating line method if this is A dash and this is B1 dash that is a true length, its opposite projection will be a line parallel to it, right? If this is true length, this will be its opposite projection and parallel to the parallel to x -ray. And we know that this is the first true length, this is its opposite projection, and that opposite projection is we are rotating, and on that we have obtained A B, right? Which means the length of it, the top view or A B is same here as well as here because this is we are rotating to obtain AB. So this is the true length, this is its opposite parallel projection and keeping this radius as same we are rotating, right? That means this is the true length and this is its opposite parallel projection and this opposite parallel projection is always equal to the projection. If this is the front view, true length in front view, this will be the top view. Parallel projection will be the top view because this is we are rotating to obtain the top view AB. Which means this top view 65, if we can mark the 65 here, we can obtain this true length. So how can we obtain 75 true length from this AB, AB is equal to 65 of the top view. See this is the top view and we can rotate this top view and make parallel with the XY line. So that we will get a line and on that line we can mark the true length. Have you understood? So if this is the top view, how can you obtain this top view? This was the true length, this was its opposite parallel projection and we rotate it for obtaining the top view. So if we have the top view, we can rotate it again and make a parallel to the XY so that this line will belongs to the projector line through B1 dash. So utilizing that property, we can draw 
see this is b1 dash so this will be b1 so we can draw a b1 at a distance of 65 a b1 at a distance of 65 so from a draw a horizontal line at a distance of 65 i name it as b1 so that this line will be the projector line of b1 and on that line we can mark that 75 i name it as b1 dash because the, this is a parallel projection so it's opposite projection will be the true length so keeping a dash as center and at the length a radius of 75 we can intersect this line and we can name this point as b1 dash so this will be the true length this is opposite parallel projection and once we obtain the true length we can mark it as log plus line of b dash now the picture is clear now it is very easy to solve see we have obtained the locus line of b dash a dash b dash is also given so keeping a dash as center and at a radius of 50 intersect the locus line of b dash name it as b dash draw the a dash b dash now draw the vertical projector first true length opposite parallel projection rotate so that we have obtained b a b now this will be the locus line of B. On that locus line, we can again intersect the true length having a length of 75. So, this will be B2, second true length. Its opposite projection will be B2 dash. So, this will be theta, this will be alpha. This will be beta and this angle will be phi. This is 12. This distance is sorry 65. Now this length will be sorry. this also has to be marked as 70. So this is a very easy question. So in the rotating line method, actually this line and this line are true length line and a dash b dash and a b are the projection lines. This projection a dash b dash and a b should be drawn using one notch pencil in a darker way and compared to this one, this should be lighter. a dash b one dash, both the true lengths should be lighter and all the others are construction lines. So I hope all of you have understood the rotating line method. We have learned four different types of problems in rotating line method. Initially, both the endpoints and true length was given in the type 1. Then one of the endpoints, true length, then both the inclinations were given in the type 2. One of the endpoints or true length, true inclination, one of the true inclination and length of the one of projection were given in the third problem. And here, true length and length of both the projections and one of the endpoints. So I hope all of you have understood this problem. So this is actually known as rotating line method. In the next video, we will start studying trapezoidal rule or rotating plane method. So please wait for that video and please subscribe my channel. Till then, bye.